Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sinking City. Uh, we just left Pier Number Three, where we learned about the Titania, and its captain is badly wounded, needing medical aid. So, in order to check this out, we're going to need to to visit the archives at the hospital. It seems indicated by this little symbol here. Now, I'm assuming that this is the right hospital that we're heading to. We're going to head up in this direction. I've also gone ahead and marked all of these side cases. And what we can do, because we know the location of our uh, main place, we can, do a, we can actually handle it a couple of ways. We can put our main marker down here like we have, and then we'll go and select our side cases. So that when we go back to the map, we can see all of the stuff along the way. So, looks like this one makes some sense. This one as well. Let's start here. It's Forlorn Woman. And if we want to check out what that is. The city, no matter how badly the flood damaged it, has an unnatural appeal. Can't stop myself from walking, even if it means being struck by further visions. Went to the eastern part of the Salvation Harbor, near the crossing of Fitz O'Callaghan Street and Old Church Road. It came. The feeling of loneliness and fear was immense. I was a woman locked in a room, infected and slowly rotting. My face turned into something. It itched badly in my face. I had to hold the skin with both hands to prevent it from growing until I suffocated. I ended up sitting on the road crying until some inn's mother kicked me and ordered me away. So, yeah. Seems nice. We're gonna check it out and see if we can find out what these journal entries are actually showing us. Who's this guy? You! You're the man who handled the problems in the port. Seemed like a sharp sleuth. Wanna make something on the side? Do I? You pay, I work. What's the job? Ah, a fellow businessman. <laughs> I'm Vincent, but you can call me Vince. Ooh. First task is to find the ship's log for the pride. Charles Reed. A few questions, if I may. Sure. Going sure. to instant PI mode. Why are you looking for a ship log? Maybe I'll tell you when the job is done. Right now, right. you don't need to know. Respect, In my respect. Line of work, you don't get far without appreciating the mm -hmm. need for privacy. I understand. What can you tell me about the pride? I'm gonna need somewhere to start. Mostly rumors. The captain was an exemplary patriot. Always had a flag with him. Clue. His last shipment may have been chemicals and metal barrels. It could be resting on the seabed a thousand miles away. What makes you think it can be found? I wouldn't waste my money on you unless I had hope. Local drunkards say they saw the barge on the sunken road near the fish market. Good. I'll check the place and bring you the Pride's ship log if it's still there. Sunken road See near the fish market. Find the Pride and job offers. So our second thing here... Rumor says it was seen in Southern Shells on Moreland Road near the intersection with Old Colony Street. So Southern Shells, Moreland Road, Old Colony Street. Here's the Shells, Southern part. Moreland Road and Old Colony Street. Boom. All right, cool. Oh, we have to make sure that we go back and select this. It's a bit of a weird system to get used to, but... Like, the separation of everything, I, I get why they're doing it. You're just used to... games being, like, kind of throwing everything at you. Can we jump that? Nice. Oh... Are those your pets? Or... They don't look like pets, guy. He seems cool with them. Hello. Nothing! Jesus. Alright, well. Already unloaded a full clip into that giant creature that we saw. So I'm gonna try and conserve some ammo now if I can. Hmm. 
Okay, what are we looking for here? There's a marking on that door over there. And it said something about a woman being inside. Feeling of loneliness, I was a woman locked in a room, infected and slowly rotting. Great. What the? Ooh, that's Mark II. What's this? Oh, this is... No, this is the original... Um... Isn't this the original place we were in? Oh, no, it's not. It just looks very similar. That's right. Hello. Antipsychotics. You know damn right this is a bad idea. Can't carry any more first aid. Can I heal? Oh, almost the wrong thing. I might as well. Jeez. I wonder if we are just fully... Like, if this stuff... All these journal entries are just to these kind of uh, caches of items. What? Whoa! <laughs> Yikes. Okay, Skippy. One spot, please. Whoa, see, I see that. I don't... I'm not into it. I'm gonna have to kite him. We just picked this thing up. Run! <laughs> Not into him. We're out of here. We're out of here. We were losing sanity. Yeah, see, this is slightly confusing because it's the same layout, right? Hi, Dad. The back room's window was broken when I woke from my nap, so I'm gonna go look for Mom. She can't have gotten too far yet. I'm sure she'll listen to me when I find her. Sometimes when I take her food to her, she looks at me weird, like she remembers me. Sometimes she even reaches out through the slot and tries to grab my hand. But I do what you said and stand behind the white line and push the tray with the stick, and then she cries. Really hope she'll get better soon. Don't worry, Dad. I'll find her and bring her home. Love you, Rachel. Now, hold up. Okay, so this thing is still going to be marked here. The Forlorn Woman. But I'm guessing that... Holy... Oh, how do I get out? Okay. Oh, see, that's gone now. That's... Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not gone. But I have to wonder... If this will always stay here? Oh, look at that. This thing is gone now. The location marker. Okay. End up sitting on the road crying until some inn's mother kicked me and ordered me away. So I'm guessing that that's the mother that we just heard reference to. I'm guessing. There may still be other stuff in there. I may have to clear the monsters. I'm not sure. But like I say, we're going to kind of check these out along the way to where we want to go and get a feel for what's happening. But certainly, it's it's pretty safe to say we found a couple things here. We picked up this, this foot trap. Inconspicuous design ensures you that even watching your step won't help. And we can now craft these as well. Uh, we should make these bullets. 
And it was not an insignificant amount of supplies either. found in the, uh, because of these notes, these diary entries. It's so cool how certain districts are underwater and others are totally fine. Cool for us. Bad for everybody that lived here. Okay, so let's read this one. Inn's mother notes. Local Innsmouthers scare me a lot. I've never seen a place with so many ill people. Their faces pursue me, even in visions. Recently, I was in the northern part of Grimhaven Bay, walking down Whisper Street. I barely made it to Hubert Avenue when the visions came. I stood among many Innsmouthers disguised as one of them and listened. Their leader read the story of a captain participating in pagan rites, copulating with savage witches and beasts, bringing up sacrifices. I still remember his name, Obed. They were walking down Whisper Street, barely made it to Hubert Avenue. So we're on Whisper. I'm barely making it to Hubert, so it's got to be over here then. And see, we've got the symbol. All right. Man, this is kind of like the first one that we went to. And maybe we got to clear these infestations. Like, maybe that's the deal. A la Deacon St. John. Oh, I don't... This is, this is going to be bad for us. All right. So we're going to need to get stronger before we start fighting these things. That's fine. We'll take a little detour here. We'll head up to, uh, let's say, this location. And then we can cross over here. To search for the medical records or whatever. Look at that hotel, that's cool. That's where John Wick would stay. <laughs> uh, we can mark like this, just so that we... ...don't get too turned around. Whoa, guys, just like that, eh? Just like that. Just part of the job, you're just leaving them there? Alright, cool, I guess. can switch us back to this other case now. Casual smoke outside Patient the hospital. Or visitor. Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A visitor. <laughs> Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? Well, yeah, I probably do. The usual. 
Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. <laughs> Fascinating. Speaking of uh, pale. By coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Uh, did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Y your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. Okay. That's news to me, Doc. Sounds serious. Hmm. May I suggest you become a subject <laughs> in my experimental medical program? Uh, I'm gonna pass on that, actually. I think I'll pass, Doc. I played lab rat in an asylum in Boston. Oh, okay, say good to know. For me. Oh, what a pity. It seems as though your brain is already too damaged by the Helminth for rational thought. Um... Did you have any patients come by with an axe wound? I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. Cool, thanks. It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? If it's the little ones, I don't mind. I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. Oh, great. The multi-handed we've seen. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Okay. Here's his address. Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost human. Well, what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Not for him. Find out what happened. Okay, cool. I like that. We're on the case. Now, we need to find his little archive thing. And maybe medical supplies? Not really. Got <laughs> shell casings. Let's see, is there anything up here? No. Okay, so, Wounded Sanders. Uh, Captain, third pier of Grimhaven. So we're looking for patients, we assume, after the flood. I don't know which. It probably surgery. And Grimhaven. Peter Crowley, male, 29. Oakmonter. Multiple burns and fragmentation wounds to chest and face as a result of explosion. Several surgeries, wound treatment, phasal surgery, prognosis good, bed rest recommended. Joseph Willow, newcomer, deep cut wound to left shoulder. Broken collarbone, fractured scapula, wound, stitch, fracture set and bandage, no trace of infection, evident prognosis, good, bed rest recommended. So is that... Maybe he checked in under a false name, but... Grimhaven Bay wounded. Letters from Oakmont. Okay. That's what we found in the other place. So wounded Sanders. Now we have this. Peter Crowley doesn't sound like it makes sense. So Joseph Willow, maybe, but it looks like we have to talk to somebody, right? Yeah, dialogue. And that, our field research things with those addresses. Jay Willow suffered a savage wound to his so shoulder. So can I talk to him about this? Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> Great. Okay, well, let's see if we can just go find these people. I'm assuming he maybe used a false name or something, but I don't know if that's possible. I don't know how this works, man. What 
happened to you, mister? Pete. Ah, okay. Explosion. Fishing with dynamite. Oh, hurts talking. <laughs> Fishing with dynamite, huh? You sure it wasn't from a fight in port? Maybe on a ship? I'm sure. Oh, please, leave. Look at him. Bye. Bye. And what's this guy's name? What's the J for? Joseph. That's who we need to find. Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eat leeches ever again. No, sir. Yeah, probably a great idea, actually. Too bad you had to eat them to figure that out. Not everybody can be born with the necessary smarts to figure that out. I get it. I get it. Oh, look at this. Okay, floor one, reception, two and three patient wards, basement, surgery and storage. Oh, maybe. Maybe surgery then? I'm not sure. We'll see if he's up in this patient ward, but... Hello. <laughs> All these shortcuts through the floors. Yeesh. What happened oh, to your shoulder? and we got him. Some psycho. You know, bar brawl. Gun came out, he clipped me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you with? I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. Y Is you that should right? probably look somewhere else. What? <sighs> That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, <laughs> to the depths with it. Cool. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Um, he doesn't need to know about the visions, I don't think, but I'm investigating the expedition. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. Okay, so what happened? I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. Maybe they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. Yeah, well, not everyone died. So, at one point, they thought Albert was the only guy that made it too, right? Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there, underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. Really? Why'd you guys leave You've them? You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? Probably... You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into Cursed Waters. Mark my words. Cursed Waters. Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. I mean, why? That's probably self-explanatory. To stop them from rioting. <laughs> yeah. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and yeah, then, see? It's then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. And you could be thinking alcohol again, but no, it's not. What were you looking for underwater? 
the cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open and that means hysteria on land. Really. We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. Jesus. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No, no. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Okay, well, where can I get a diving suit? Do you know where I can get a We're gonna be going suit? under, man, for My sure. Got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Okay, well, we'll head down there. Soon. All right. So we learned quite a bit here, obviously. Let's uh, clear these up. That's his evidence. Informing that the expedition anchored several points in the ocean. Warned us these anchor points may be in the ship's log. Sander brought it to the hospital. But last place he remembers it was the surgery ward, which is at the bottom. Something horrible happened there. Crew were frightened so badly they mutinied after saving Albert. And Albert, again, seemed to maybe be like a source because he was down there for longer. So he came out and he was. it would spread to the other people, like this crew, the, the fishermen that pulled him off the boat. And Diving Suit Factory, located in Western Grimhaven Bay on C. Smith Avenue, between Levi Coffin Avenue and Deep Shore Road. Western Grimhaven, C. Smith, Levi Coffin, Deep Shore. Where's Grimhaven? Western Grimhaven. C. Smith Ave. Here's C. Smith Ave. Levi Coffin Deep Shore. So boom, right here. But it's all flooded, so that'll be fun, I think. Okay. And then also, we've got the crazy crew and the wounded sailor. All but one were killed. Survivor has a deep cut. The Tanya crew went mad and started as a massacre, or started a massacre in the port as a result. Okay. So let's head down to surgery, see if we can find that log. Switch this up if we can. Coffin over there. Great. Clear water. We've seen that before. surgery ward. Oh, did I miss it? Yeah, here we go. Ship's log Titania. Accident place. Crew complaining of noises and no sleep. Fish behaving strangely. March 22nd. Crew reporting hallucinations. March 23rd. <laughs> gave rum. Hopefully it'll distract. 23rd. Air pocket in the caverns near the devil's teeth. Close to the city. Scientists discovered walls. Ancient walls. Asked for crates with tools. Sent Tate and Myers down to investigate after surfacing deadline passed. Tate and Myers with only Albert Throgmorton, who is now completely unhinged, his madness disturbing and unsettling. The crew dragged Albert to a lifeboat, tried to stop them, resulted in mutiny. Okay. All evidence collected. So, this is all leading us now to... Well, a couple places. 
This is the final dive, which we're obviously not going to have access to yet. So we need to get the diving suit. And that's the one that we marked already. Albert Saviors, the only one saved. Crew is riding and afraid of his insanity. They cast him adrift. And I don't think these two are connected. Yeah. All right. Tell you what. Let's take a break here. Now that we have that done, there's a couple of things that we could be doing. We can obviously go and uh, look for this if we want. That's down in Grimhaven Bay, right here. Diving suit factory. That's one option. We can also look to see, since we've marked all of these, we could do this one. We could find the Pride. This is Southern Shells. That's the Pride there. And we can look for these two places to find out more for the Doctor. So where is this at? Shop in Central Salvation Harbor, Windheim, and south of Polaris Road. Salvation Har Harbor, Windheim, south of Polaris. Here's Windheim. South of... It would be here, right? No, Polaris, my bad. Win oh, here. South of Polaris Road. On Windheim Street. So it'd be somewhere like in this area. And then this one. Let's place this. Northern Salvation Harbor. Moreland Road between Higgs and Benevolent. Here's Moreland. Here's Higgs. And benevolent. So somewhere in here. All right. Cool. Uh, let's take a break here. And then when we come back, I'm thinking based on, I guess, based on where we're at. We're way over here. So that the other stuff is back in that area. We could maybe look for the pride. Here. And then go to the Salvation Harbor for this field research stuff. I think that makes sense. And then at that point, what we would do is go to here. Grimhaven Bay. And uh, right in this area. Or maybe we go here, then Grimhaven, then into Salvation Harbor. That's probably a good plan. All right, let me get out of here. And then I'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you're having a good time. It's uh, This game is a lot different from what I was expecting. The pros and cons. There's things I like about it. There's things where I'm like, eh, it's a little janky. Like, anytime we have to shoot a gun. But, um... I'm curious. The story is pretty interesting, actually. So that's something that I am personally interested in, And I hope that you guys are as well. Let me see here. Let's mark the one that we're going to do first. Uh, we don't need that. Oh, yeah. My bad. We were going to do the pride first. Yeah, we're going to go find the pride one first. So I'll start walking over there and I'll bring you guys back in in a sec. See you soon. Bye for now. Whoa.